This video is sponsored by Manta Sleep. Master and get deeper sleep with pure darkness and comfort. Check out the description box for more details and a discount. Sponsorship allows us to create more content for this channel and we're so grateful for that. Now, back to the video. Hey, Psych Dealers, welcome back to another one of our videos. First of all, we'd like to thank you for all of the support you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's begin the video. Do you constantly doubt yourself or worry about the worst that could happen in a situation? You may not even be aware of some of these negative thought patterns as they may have developed into a habit or a coping mechanism. It's therefore important to be aware of it since it can be detrimental to your mental health and personal growth. So, here are six thoughts that are making you depressed. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise that you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Now, let's continue. Number one, perfectionism. Do you set unrealistic expectations for yourself and your work? Maybe you don't feel good enough and equate your self-worth with measurable success, like making the honor roll, or you feel like others hold you to impossible standards. Perfectionism can have a negative impact on your well-being, as it may lead to unhealthy emotional suppression, an inability to acknowledge personal wrongdoing, and a fear of failure. This may limit your opportunities for personal growth and lead to feelings of depression. Number two, self-criticism. Have you ever told yourself that you failed the test because you're not smart enough? or that it's because you didn't study hard enough? Self-criticism, including abrasive thoughts and comments about your appearance, physical and mental ability, or communication skills is a type of negative self-talk that goes beyond holding yourself accountable for your actions. These negative thoughts about yourself may be damaging to your self-esteem and lead to feelings of worthlessness and depression. Number three, self-doubt. Have you ever told yourself that a task was too difficult and you just couldn't do it? There's a difference between setting unrealistic goals that are impossible to achieve and turning away from opportunities because you doubt your own abilities. High levels of self-doubt may result in feelings of depression since you may feel like you're incapable of doing anything or accomplishing anything. Number four, overthinking. Do you always create worst case scenarios in your head or jump to conclusions about others' behaviors? While it can be helpful at times to prepare beforehand, Overthinking situations you can't control may end up exhausting your energy. The tendency to overthink may also lead you to form certain judgments about others too quickly, which may affect your relationship with your family and friends. Number five, excessive worrying. Are you always anxious about something? Maybe you're worried about your presentation in class or meeting new colleagues at work. Whatever the case, worrying too much can negatively affect your mental and physical well-being since it draws your attention away from the task at hand and sucks you into a repetitive thought process that doesn't serve any positive purpose. Moreover, uncontrollable worrying can also be a sign of an anxiety disorder. And number six, micromanaging. Do you always have to control every part of a project? While you may justify this tendency by telling yourself that you're the only one who can handle the task, you also put a lot of pressure on yourself and miss out on valuable input from others. Breaking out of the micromanagement mentality might start with acknowledging that just because others have let you down in the past doesn't mean that they can't handle responsibility under your guidance. Have you experienced any of these signs mentioned above? Tell us about it in the comments below. Also, on top of the other dubbed channels we've created to reach more non-English speaking people, we've recently launched a Psych2Go channel in Indian. If you have friends or family members who you would like to show the content to in Indian, you can check out the link in the description below. Let us know in the comments if you want our content translated into any other languages. And as always, thanks so much for watching.